heard the movie was like really awful. Oh yeah, no, there's no way it was good. <laughs> I still want to see you with like a morbid curiosity. <laughs> Nervous laughter. I mean, honestly, does anyone play Ratchet Clank for the story? No. I play for the weapons, are you kidding me? Yeah, for the And how weapons. it feels to like hit things with a wrench. Yeah, and they, they, they throw a lot of jokes at you. And some of them are funny and some of them are not. That's, that's okay. That's also true. That's okay. We saw that treasure chest behind the rock because it loaded in first. <laughs> I abandoned that. Sorry. Sorry. I've learned my lesson since that two apple gel, two life bottle fight in a row with Teresa. She she learned me good. That's true. Always prepped. Well, we gotta fight that one. Oh, we're ready. It's fine. Also, it's not a snake woman, so... God damn it, I'm in the middle of a combo. Oh, come on, man, I just got my max. Oh, I died. Oh, jeez. Uh, have, have somebody revive you. Alright, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm just, I just get surprised when the enemies kill me, like the regular yeah, enemies. Right. But they just surrounded me and were just like, ah, whatever, they just keep beating me up. Getting stunned in this game is like a death sentence. It is. It's awful, because it also mitigates your damage after that for a while. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm really crappy at defending spellcasters. You think I'd be better? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> There's like that moment of beauty when everyone is hitting the same target. Yeah. It's just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Because they just can't do anything. It smells like tacos in here. It does. It's got a delicious smell. Alright, I'll fight you, but I'm not. I don't want to fight the snake for you. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that was a mistake. Guarding all of my attacks, girl. Stop. Yeah. Woo. Stop fooling around. Yay! Yay! We got a different one! Also, it looked a little awkward because it looked like she just ran from the edge of the thing. Yeah, pretty much. Stop fooling around. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> Alright! Nailed it. Nailed it. Aw oh, man, there's another up over here. Wait, I can probably just... Yeah, sit down. I can check it on my way out, but I think some story stuff's gonna happen.
Oh man, no cat chest. Hit. Going, so oh, shit. I, I got startled. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I did the, I put the chip down and it was like, oh, I was scared immediately, <laughs> instantaneously. I'm oh sorry. my god. What were you saying? Go ahead. Uh, I'm okay. No, no, it's fine. Just, I'll, I'll say it afterward because it's Brazaria related. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Some sort of change. Let's just pray they can't change it back anytime soon. I'm past on the praying. I've come here to make a mess of this temple, remember? Ooh, you got spunk. I like that. As long as you know what you're doing, then. That is doubtful. At best. Okay, so, so my theory is that, um, our uh, Eleanor figures out Arturius is a douchebag, and so she becomes super rebellious and learns how to hoverboard. <laughs> and goes through her nineties teenage yeah, phase. Yeah, and then and then when she's like super rebellious, Velvet realizes her her edge potential and jo makes her join the team. Excellent. So she shows up in like a hoodie, and that's how sunglasses, we get the hoverboard. Baggy pants. And yeah. She says radical all the time. Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. And, then, and like, you're not my mom. It sounds like what they're going for. <laughs> you're not my real mom. And she's correct all the time, but she keeps saying it anyways. They're just like stop. Yeah. I know I'm not your mom. Yeah, that's, that sounds like exactly what uh, Vampo was going for with uh, Eleanor's character arc. I think we nailed it. Yeah. Ooh. I'm glad they gave us like all the, the hints in the story. <laughs> yeah. Level five. Yeah, they really kind of... Fuck! Alright, wait. <sighs> but it would be so easy, because we'll just go back when we have so many on the x see that it's like we only have one left to get. So that way we'll just get more items, you know? Scout ship setting sail. Also, uh, auto cook. Let's do. She's level three now in her cooking ability. Okay, so we should choose a different character, right? Um, also, it's kind of messed up. Though. We, we should at least get cook. one max. All right. So we might get something. Oh, twin shark manure. That's that's the thing that we've been getting. No, that's what we are gonna get now. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, yes, Annie. Yeah. Nothing special. There we go. We should just max her out. Yeah, 74. We have a lot of I'm that. I'm down to that. I'm not down to that. <laughs> oh my god, this place is so big. I hate it. Alright. Uh, Velva can't eat, but she's gonna cook forever. Yeah, so all that tasting that you do when you're cooking. Yeah. It's just extra depressing for her. It's just to rely on, on her skills develop um, before. Before yeah. this happens. Yeah, and she also has to get through three years of, uh, you know, being in a jail cell and not being able to cook for herself. That's true, that's true. Oh, God. I'll look back to... Oh, no. This is a door that opens. Just go in. These trees are gigantic. Gigantic. Again, by Motiga. Out now. Like, Out now. free. Sponsored by Motiga. Yeah. Uh, play Voden all the time. Actually, no, never play Voden because I want to play Voden. Yeah, it's my favorite. But I never play, play somebody it. nobody likes, like, Trip. Yeah, nobody likes Trip. Yeah, nobody plays as Trip. No one, not a single person likes playing as Trip. Yeah. Get off me, Snake Woman! She is the worst. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, there's a save point before we go up there. Jeez, which grand staircase do you want to take, Jim? Uh, the one on the left. This is like a monument to Artorius's ego. Look yeah. at this. He thinks he's this shit. He really does, honestly, though. What if we... Okay. What if... What if we kill him, and he's not actually the boss of the game? Are you talking about Donald Trump? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Well, I mean... I don't much of ego, am I right? Oh my god! Why did he think someone would want to go up all these stairs? Just to see him. Eleanor had to. Maybe she hoverboarded <laughs> up them. 
I'd love to see like the awkward sequence where the chorus isn't singing and she's just like sitting down in the middle of the steps, like trying to catch her breath. Like, well, these don't even go anywhere. They just have shit on them. I love it though, honestly. I love how large these steps are. It makes you really feel like he's a grand dude. Yeah, well, no, it makes it really intimidating. Yeah, too. yeah, like he's just the the big bad. Wait, I'm gonna go up there. I just wanna get this first. There we go. Bend up, stair potato. I feel like this would be a place where I knew I would get Trico back because it's so wide. It would fit him. <laughs> did, you get, did you get tea this morning? Did I did, I did get tea this morning. Did you get coffee? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, okay, is there, is there a chest on the other side, though? <laughs> there wasn't. There wasn't? No. Wait, you mean like on the other side of the stairs? Yeah. Yep. Well, what, like, look on the opposite end of that, where we found that treasure chest. Alright. I mean, we just came from that end, but... Yeah. Well, just in case, because I don't remember looking in that direction. Yeah, no, it's not there. Alright. Okay. Oh my god. Look! Look, if I tilt the camera a certain way, it's entirely stair. It's just entirely stair. Who built these?! Who thought this was a good idea?! Andreas built it himself. Oh my god. Do you think Obviously. he can go up all these stairs by himself without, like, catching his breath? He's an old dude now. Yeah, really. He probably just has, like, one of those, like, wheelchair things that, like, move you up slowly. Like a thing about you that basically floats up them. Velvet, what is Artorius's method of fighting? Ah, uh, he's got a sword. He impales people with it. He a long sword in his left hand. And he once had a bullet named Ceres, who used fire. Then I ate her. And I... but I killed her. <laughs> and since then... He's tethered a new Moloch called Enominot to use in her place. Or it's a figment of his That's imagination. Yes, but I can't imagine a new Moloch will work with him as well as Therese did. Because that was his wife. Be pleasant to always assume the best. If I'm wrong, that's where all of you come in. The four of you will strain his tether to the Moloch. How do we do that? <laughs> At which point our Taurus becomes nothing more than a simple human. But how would you get close to it in the first place? I'll use Lafayette's arts. He will cut me. He will burn me. And I will keep charging forward. Your job is to keep healing me so that I can stay on my feet. Ooh. A sacrificial assault, then. Oh, it's not a bad plan. There's a good chance you'll catch him on the is just like, I'm a better healer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me, no pressure, small no potato. Order. Oh, sweet potato. You only get a choice sometimes. So in the end, you're still just a tool to her. Bet that hurts. Well, it's like, I thought we had a thing. We bonded. There was a dock and a sunset. This is a JRPG, right? You need to silence yourself for the rest of this game. Perhaps she's not thinking at all. No, she said something about him. What if there was a way you could mute specific characters? <laughs> They're really bad. Have to be voiced by a Google Translate. Her hate for him flows deep. I wonder what her connection. You'll understand when the time comes. If she's still alive to face Artorius, that is. Precisely. The fires of her hatred are all consuming. So will they burn in the end? Hmm? Everyone's kind of like, I don't... I don't think this is gonna work. But I'll go. It's a dangerous path we walk. But a debt is a debt. Come along, Lafayette. said. Okay. Hmm. We have no choice now. But how do you think the small one got up the stairs? Lafa set? Yeah. Carried him. Carried him a little bit sometimes. Cause I mean, I don't know. I've had fucking kindergartners walk upstairs. They either go up one stair at a time, or they fall at some point. Right. <laughs> they fall even walking on the That is true. Alright, I'm not- oh, I can walk around here without triggering a thing. I was walking to the stars without meaning to. This place looks like a final dungeon of, um, Sails of Cesarea. Yeah, I do think this is Artorius' throne. I remember we got really like, oh, what the fuck, at some point, because uh, somebody w was playing Zysteria and was like, oh, this level is literally called Artorius' throne. And I remember we were like, who is that guy? Guess it doesn't matter. 